That's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, good strong minute. All right. You know what you can do with a minute? <laughs> <laughs> and you're not recording this? <laughs> what is happening? Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shot. Shot vs. A-Body Podcast, episode 209. Got a special guest in the building, man. She a uh, rapper. You a little actor, too. She actor, content creator, mom. You a hustler? I think you a hustler, too, yeah. from what I see and shit. We got uh, Mariah Renee, Big Riot. Which one you want to go by? Riot the Don. Riot the Don. All right, all right. Yep. Everything good with you? Everything's great. I talked to this young lady probably about a year and a half ago. <laughs> Finally made it happen, you know what I'm saying? She went a little MIA, a little ghost on social media, but it's all good now. We, we made it happen. Exactly. How you, how you feel? I feel good. How are you? I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. I could be better, but you don't want to hear my complaints. Yeah, <laughs> we all could be better. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. But we start with every episode with Salute Me While I'm Here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers. Right. But it can't be the easy answer. It can't be your kids. I don't know if you're in a relationship. Or it can't be your mom and dad. So it got to be out, somebody outside of those four people. Your Period. kid, mom and dad, or if you're messing with a dude. So you got somebody you want to show some love to? My son, who oh, is... Oh, 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 It can't be them. They too oh, close. Can't be my son. No kids, no parents. Okay, so my, um, well, like my homegirl. Can it be my homegirl? Yeah, for sure. Oh, my girl, Yana, okay. call her avocado. She's a photographer, so if you need a photographer, she's like really... F she she does all the rappers around the for city. Sure. She's really fire. But like we met and like we just connected and she's always like make me feel like... I am who I am. Like mm -hmm. she always like make me feel like I'm not being arrogant. I'm not being overconfident. She like nah, talk your shit, pop your sure. shit, you're that. So like with her, it just made me feel like a super saint. Like sure. I just feel like great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now I feel like asshole too. Tell you to cut off from uh, shouting out your son. So shout your son out too. Oh yeah, my son. <laughs> no, you're good. My son. No, he's um he has a basketball tournament. He's playing today. So yeah, get that one. I peed. I, I peed the shit that you got a little hooper on deck and stuff. How old is he? My son is twelve. Okay, okay. For sure. Who, who you playing for? Well, he played for the family and right now he plays for team base uh okay. it's a team out of like uh dearborn okay it's really cool okay okay yeah he gotta have a little game playing for a family family been one of them old teams that always had <laughs> niggas who go hoop yeah he's been yeah. playing for like two years so he's been getting really really good he's kind of like you know he's ranked in michigan and he's ranked in the country so mm -hmm. like we really he travels a lot and for plays sure. basketball hell yeah my son my little son just had his first little basketball practice yesterday i was happy and stuff <laughs> yeah it's so exciting it's yeah. it's exciting it's overwhelming a little bit but as long as you don't become one of those angry parents that be Please don't. Crowd, that'd be Please ready don't. to stretch the body yeah. over Because I'm a coach. And I'll be, I hate when them parents come. Like, hey, listen, your, so your, your kid is, is terrible. That's why your kid ain't playing. That's why I really, that's why, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Please don't come crying For me real. about some playing time. Like, For this ain't real. no equal opportunity shit right here. Like, why would you, you can't be yeah. like that. You Hell can't no. move like that. How's it being a basketball mom, though, as far as like, Ooh. I mean, you a looker. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I do feel when you got the, them dads and them coaches trying to, you know, uh, slide, <laughs> slide on over and shit real quick. So it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy, um, my homeboy, he played for U of M. Mm -hmm. So he always would tell me, like, listen, let me tell you right now. He had, I came over to his house one day. He had this vision board, y'all. He just drew up all these bullet points. It was like, since your son is playing basketball, these are the things I want you to look out for. For sure. And he's like, when you on the road, these dads are going to be trying to talk to you, the coaches. He like, don't budge for that. Mm -hmm. Don't get your son mixed in all that personal stuff. He like yeah. just keep it going. He like, cause they're gonna try you for sure. So like, he already gave me a heads up. So yeah, yeah. of course it happens like that. Like yeah. people, baby mom must be mad. And, Man, like, what? It just get crazy. <laughs> like, and then my son's so sweet. It's like you can't take him out the game if you wanted to. So yeah. like, I just sit there in the crowd, like, and just be quiet. But some people are crazy. Yeah. Girls try to fight me at everything. Like yeah. they're wild at those yeah. games for real. You got a wild stories for us, like involving a coach trying to, you know, get your son and get you. <laughs> <laughs> Just, hey, you, you, you. hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to give y'all something. So, <laughs> you said go, but, I mean, can we go one on one? <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, sometimes the coaches do follow me, mm -hmm. and most more like more than likely they're married, which is if mm -hmm. you know. But like they would try to like send me videos with like. $50,000 in cash yeah, 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 yeah. or like just send money and they were like or like send like <laughs> 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 and 
<laughs> it's so embarrassing let me take this off but it's like it's like dang they're willing to trick even the basketball coaches are tricking yeah. it's like so no, cute sure. yeah. like, <laughs> trick like motherfuckers yeah, I they're know. tricks they're so tricks so I was like I can't do that so a lot of the girls are the wives they get all like tits when I walk in the room I try mm. to like keep it pee I'm like I don't yeah. want you know I don't want y'all guys no like, for sure for sure, for sure. Yeah. as a coach you too like the moms be coming in you be like Nigga, I look straight. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm look not. The kid, look at the kid. I'm not opposed to talking to a coach though. Like if I, yeah. if he's if he's single and is right and the vibe is there, then yeah. I'm not saying I'm against it. But if you got a shorty and everybody oh, yeah, on the yeah. team is doing you to get their kid to play, mm -hmm. then that's yeah. that. Like that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Niggas be using niggas use a position for real. Man, what? Yeah, yeah, man, draw, use it to the best of their abilities. Of course yeah. they will. I mean, it's people that shoot videos, music videos, and use that to their advantages or try oh, yeah. to use that too. So. Oh yeah. How did you duck that though? Like, like you know, say especially like you rap. Yeah. How do you just you know saying avoid that shit and keep it you know saying business and um, not? Shit, you gotta have some money. Mm -hmm. Money talk. Like you gotta have money because they gonna respect you with the money. They're not gonna respect you for opening your legs. They're not gonna respect you. You're just gonna be known as the girl that's just going around. So you have to be very respected, mm -hmm. well respected. So people know you mean business. Like I'm not coming in there to like if you do that I'm gonna block you. Like I have yeah. like. 300 people on my block list. I don't play that. For sure. Like, and then they try to come back or spin a vlog. But like, no. Next time you know to treat yeah. somebody like. Hell yeah. Just because I, I could dress like this all day. Just do not touch me or don't try to. Like, I ain't going to lie, y'all. This one producer I was recording. Mm. This man, I could just like feel. I could feel like an energy. <laughs> yeah. It's dark in the booth, but I yeah. can feel like some spirit is behind me or something. I'm rapping. All I do is feel him like grab my waist while yeah. I'm in the booth. Yeah. Like, man, what? What the fuck? Yeah. I turned, I took the headphones. Like, like hey, no, session's over. Let's go. Yeah, I'm out of here. And he's like, Are you sure, babe? I thought yeah. we had a vibe or yeah. some shit. Like, oh hell, now nah, I'm straight. That's yeah. when I knew the industry was some weird ass shit. Like, hell yeah. So when you go to these places like that, you know, what I'm saying, do you make sure you bring a, you know, what I'm saying, a homie and stuff now, like that? Yes, yeah. I, I didn't bring nobody else. On. Now. Yes, I, I definitely bring people. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. even go out without nobody no more. Like people be pulling me, grabbing me. It's yeah. like it's so much stuff. Like I see why people have security. First they should be like, they must be scared. No, it's like no, please don't, cause yeah, it's yeah. scary. You never know who's doing what. He, she did. I, he did Ice Cube on. He grabbed me like this. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I could, I could bet though. It gotta be hard. Like I say this all the time. It gotta be hard being a, a, a female in the in the music game. Oh shit, just in general. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Especially when you you know attractive. Whatever niggas gonna try to. Hey, she wanna get. In this studio, I might be able to slide, you know. Real yeah, quick. like what free sessions for some free yeah, yeah. or something, <laughs> or some yeah. crazy two for one special, or some crazy shit. Like, I'm yeah, not yeah. going for that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, we, 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 we talk about your son, but how did motherhood change you? Like, wow, that is crazy. Prior to you having a son and then having a son, like, was there anything you had to change up or any, you know, what I'm saying your way of thinking or whatever? Yes, I was in college. <clears throat> um, I went to Bowling Green State University. Shout out to BG. Okay. I went to college and I found out I was pregnant when I was on campus because like yo I swear I was so young mm -hmm. I didn't understand what was going on one day I just woke up and I FaceTimed my, my big sis mm -hmm. and I turned the camera and I was like Look at my stomach. Duh. She was like, "Oh my god, that is a whole baby." Man. I think I was like, my whole body. I was like, I'm about to faint right now because I'm in college. I'm, it's fine. Midterms is coming, exams, everything. So I'm freaking out. I'm like, "Yo, I don't think I can do this." And then the guy that I was with was a hood nigga trapper, yeah. and I'm in college. I'm like, "Oh my god, this is not good." So I'm like, I gotta finish school. It's like some Tariq and Effie, like or Diana. <laughs> like I have to go to school. I can't be. I left because I was his lifestyle was so fast, and I'm yeah. like, I have to go to school or I'm gonna get caught up in this I have to sure. go so I just left and then boom I got stuck with a baby so it was like oh no man. but it was like yes at the same time but it changed me a lot yeah, like yeah. A, a lot man For I real. bet cause I, like I said I had my uh, my son I was like what 20 19 20 so it was like shit you gotta just change your whole way of thinking like yeah. I was still having fun still having a good time yeah. I saw you reach for a drink too and shit yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> Like, like, you need a refill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why you get the? <laughs> I'll go get it. But no, but no. Thank you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So you said it changed you up, though. You feel like that was something that you needed, like, because sometimes you, having a kid, you know, what I'm saying it could be like, damn, I gotta change things up, but it could be needed, you know, what I'm saying just to get you prepared. Honestly, get you right. I feel like I would probably be dead, be dead if mm. I didn't have my son. I'm not even gonna lie, because I was living a. <laughs> I was living a lifestyle. Like yeah. I was that, okay? Like my my dude was that nigga and stuff like we was ride or die. Like, you mm. know what I'm saying? So like, um, I got like I got shot and mm. everything. So it's like me being in that that 
that life was like it because I grew up in it, so it's like yeah. it was normal to me. And nothing was like. And I tell my friends that grew up in the suburbs, they be like, "That's not normal." Like, yeah. are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah. That's what no. you went through. I'm like, <laughs> I thought that was normal. Yeah, you know, I'm sure. from the project, so yeah. that's what it was. But um, it changed me. It slowed me down, mm. and I don't be around like stuff like that no for more. Sure. Just for sure. Go you for uh, it. you and the baby dad, y'all still cool? Yeah, we're cool. cool? We're okay, cool. Okay. Y'all, y'all, cool. y'all cordial and shit. Yeah, we're we're we them are best friends, and then yeah. um, his other uh. Baby mom, shout out to my baby Shania. Mm-hmm. Me and her are really, really good friends. Like sure. I love her very much. Now it's, it's funny before you came on the show, me and my homeboy Mon Money and producer Q was talking about. Uh, he was telling us a story about how his son got uh, smacked by uh, a girl and shit, and we thought he, he got smacked to the ground, but he got smacked twice and shit. Twice. <laughs> and what, what would you tell your son, like, as far as because I tell my son, like, Ooh. as far as boys, like, nigga, young, small, old, big, like, if a nigga hit you, you hit him back. Right. So what do you do? As far as like, she played Chris Brown in the background. Yeah. Oh <laughs> like, what do you do as far as like letting your son know how to defend himself when a woman hit him? Do you tell him like to grab her, hold her, or? Yeah, I tell him to hold her. I don't never tell my son to actually like strike a woman. Mm. But if she's trying to kill him, mm-hmm. or if you see it's a threat, you cannot let nobody kill you. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's grandma, grandpa. <laughs> like, do not let nobody take you out these streets. I'm not lying. Like, yeah. if you, it could be anybody. Like, you just can't. Cause some women will try to kill you. Yeah. So it's like, what do you do then if the girl's charging at you with a knife? You just gonna. It's like, yeah, you can't like, be like, hey, I can't hit women. Like, like, and if she's steady swinging at it, she actually cut you in your stomach, or you now you see it's, on, it's go time. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't, okay, listen, y'all, at this point, I'm being assaulted. Or, yeah. like, I'm scared for my life, like, yeah. type shit. So, Hell thank no. you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy, dog. But shit, uh, like I said, I never get to what you do right away. I want to get to know you a little bit and stuff like that. Just talk about, you know what I'm saying, going into. Uh, this year, 2024, is almost over. But just talk about going <clears throat> going into this year and what were some things that you, you know what I'm saying, want to achieve? What some things that you're still trying to achieve? Just talk about this year and, uh, you know, how it's been for you. Well, this year, honestly, I feel like every year i really been elevating every year, even though I've been feeling like, oh, I don't know, everything feels stagnated. Sometimes you feel like you just in one spot and you like I'm trying I'm doing everything I can but I'm just here right now mm. but I feel like when you plant seeds it's gonna grow so I feel like that's really what's been going on mm. like for me doing the um the movies mm. uh shout out to Dennis Reed mm. for giving me opportunity to like be in his films so like um when I first did that I just I'm like, why not? Like, yeah. I want to get into this. Um, I want to actually start doing like stand up comedy too. Like, I just because I'm, I'm really into that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah for but sure. But <laughs> I um I went to the movie things and I was seeing like how everything works and I'm like, this is so great to see how ambitious all these people are. Just being around other people that have common goals, it just make you feel like yeah, yeah. like a super super person. Yeah. But this year just was great. Um. I got to like go backstage and kick it with like all these rappers at mm. the Little Seeds Arena, like shake hands with everybody who's who's. It was mm. kind of just like, okay, this is the lifestyle that you're going for. So you're just seeing everything and how it works and it makes you feel more comfortable. You know, sometimes people are afraid of things they don't know because they haven't even did step one. So you have for to sure. kind of just at least take a leap of faith and just like try it. Mm-hmm. So once you do, and then like all these blessings that just come. So then I don't know. Then I did my little thing on TV. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get to like that. that. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. What about uh was there anything you wanted to achieve personal? Like as far as like outside of the whole business um, and stuff like that, anything you want to become a better person or just you know or did you realize like some shit this year, like damn, I need to work on this, you know what I'm saying? I would say being fearless. Mm. Cause a lot of people have hidden fears that yeah. they don't even like they have a facade and they pretend, but it's like you have to kind of just like it doesn't exist. So mm-hmm. like that was my this is my year of being fearless and boundaries. Mm-hmm. So like I was standing on my boundaries and my business and being fearless. That's Hell yeah. pretty much what my every year I give myself a word that I'm standing on like For as sure. a person. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now we we we, t- we you know we we said we're not with the baby dad no more. Are you, I don't t- I ain't this ain't a relationship podcast, but are you are you relationship like how, how's that? How's oh that no, life? I'm not in a relationship because uh, when you doing when you're doing I, that's this, what I was gonna ask about yeah this music industry y'all I promise you you probably not gonna want to be in a relationship when you. F- I don't know when you probably will be ready, but you have to be with somebody who's really secure or exactly. in that yep, lifestyle. That's what I want to ask, yeah. Because y'all, I was in a t- terrible relationship with that when I haven't like seriously like it got bad. 
Mm-hmm. So, like, I told myself I'm never doing that again. It was really bad. Like, they say they can handle it, but then mm-hmm. when it actually comes down to, like, you having lingerie photo shoots yeah. or anything like that, um, it's just not good. I had mm-hmm. my ex, he tore up the photo shoot. Like, yeah. he just, like, tore the whole place up. Like, God he was just damn. so mad because of the pictures we were taking. And I, I told him, like, this is what I'm going to be taking. Yeah. These are the clothes I'm going to be wearing. And you're invited. Yeah, yeah, so, if yeah. I invite my man, my man is always invited. There's sure. nowhere he can't come. Yeah. So, it's like... You that you should trust me just for me saying that. Like yeah, you can yeah, always yeah. be here. Yeah, yeah. So that wasn't enough. So yeah, I was like, yeah. you know what? No, I Hell can't yeah, do that. Don't be riding your ass the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Like <laughs> for real. And then we could go to the bathroom, take a break or whatever. Yeah. Like I like whatever make you feel like um, we're in this together. I'm not never gonna be like, well, it's my show. I'm running the show. No, mm. I'm never gonna be that. This is just it's showtime. Then when I get home, it's me. Like for sure. Hell yeah. How is relationship you? How how, how are you in a relationship? Like what type of what type of lady are you as far as you know girlfriend are you and shit? Um, yeah, I'm, I got a lot of people that watch the show. You know, so I'm <laughs> very, I'm submissive. I'm mm. very submissive. I, I feel like I'm too submissive. Like I'm the, I'm such a feminine girl when it comes to like a masculine man like mm-hmm. he has to be masculine alpha because yeah. if he's not an alpha i'm a dog him. yeah so like <laughs> he gotta be an alpha like you have to be an alpha because it's gonna make me feel like oh i cannot be this masculine energy i'm gonna be in my feminine energy yeah. i love love like i like i like to spoil my man too like i yeah. love to spoil my man so so a dude can be too soft on you because i i'll be telling people i know certain people you be like hey man you can, you a little too nice like you a little too you know what I'm saying Giving like My thing is like It's cool to be nice And stuff like that But sometimes like Certain situations You gotta just like it, I, I wanna say a situation But I ain't gonna say it But it's Why? like You got me saying stuff No like. it's Sometimes you guys like, Sometimes a woman Take advantage of your niceness Yes they will you It know just what depends so, on Kind of woman you're yeah. talking to too Cause that's weird Yeah certain women You can be nice And do everything for them But then certain ones Just don't deserve it Same thing I guess For a dude and shit I can't speak on like dudes But <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But that's the same, you know. It's mutual. Yeah. It's a mutual thing with me. Like, we buy each other stuff. It's not like, you know, like, okay, he's only going to do this for me. No, if I see my man is like, doing everything for me mm-hmm. and I'm I'm not I'm I'm not even gonna lie I'm like at the door robe no clothes all that waiting on him to come home type girl yeah. like I'm that like yeah. I'm cleaning I'm cooking I I do back massages I do whatever like I rub his head like <laughs> his beard for all sure. that good stuff like. yeah yeah now how do you keep a relationship fresh cause you can be with somebody so long and shit start getting old you start falling to a routine that's how niggas start, start stepping out in a relationship like do it, you know? How do you keep it fresh? Because some people, hey, want to bring another woman in the, in the in the bedroom and keep it spicy and shit. Or you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how you keep this <laughs> shit fresh? Um, I say get money together, mm-hmm. have a business together, um, mm-hmm. have common goals. Because when you do have that, it's like challenges every day. It's not robotic. It's not routine because you guys have this goal. Like, okay, we're gonna make this. We're gonna buy properties. If you have the same goal, I feel like you don't get bored of each other and travel. Mm-hmm. Like, if you travel, it is so fun. Like, just go yeah. to Miami with your boy. Or go to wherever just have fun travel just do different stuff just always do something different if you feel like it's getting boring just do Mm. something different i would say just always bring somebody into your bedroom because i feel like your marriage gonna end very fast like very quickly yeah i can't handle it i I ain't gonna lie niggas say they be wanting that shit i I can in my relationship i couldn't do that shit like like now if you single you doing that shit then cool but right right. nigga be at work what you doing over here getting pounded by felicia like damn Y'all niggas is doing it without me, like. Yeah, you know, now I, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> now you didn't left me. You ain't right. No, for sure. Hell she yeah. pregnant, not me. Like, man. oh no, this. Is I'm not about. To, everybody got to die tonight. Yeah, like, man. Like I can't. Yeah, for sure. So like I said, it could be. It depends on how you can handle. it. I know I couldn't handle it. Like, me neither. I don't yeah. have my the way my sanity is set up. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. Like I'm selfish. I'm stingy. Especially if you, if you got that magic thing, yeah. right? You have to just stay still. Like, yeah. You cannot move. <laughs> hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah! Have you ever had a moment where you felt like it can't get no worse than this? Like, damn, I'm, 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 it's fucked up for me right now. Like, Ooh, shit ain't going right. Hell yeah! And we ask real questions over here. No, that's a real <laughs> nice question. <laughs> Cause I've been there before. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I remember going to my mom's house and just sitting in her backyard and just reminiscing how when I was younger, everything was cool. I was just back there, just crying. Like, yeah. I gotta get this together. Like, just my, I, I swear, I was just like praying. Like, man, I cannot just going back there. That's a 
that's a touchy like topic too yeah. because it's like I was really really down bad like it was crazy I lost yeah. everything like my house my car everything like everything just crumbled like it was on top of the world and it was just like yeah. snatched away from me so then it was like damn and then I didn't ever think like what is my next step like people this is why I tell people like when you are getting money and everything like make sure first of all if you're doing it the right way if you're doing it the wrong way yeah. have for your money <laughs> yeah for sure at least 10,000 yeah do not if you're not you I, need know, get, I need to get on your payroll no, so listen, you get so no, no, what I'm saying. If you if you have to at least have ten thousand, yeah. like set to side of your hustler, because it's like you save your money, your money gonna save you. Yeah. So next, it's like you gotta have like discipline with your money because I blew it. I had so much fun, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I spent like fifty thousand yeah. dollars at this mall in dc yeah. and like i don't even know why i just was having so much fun i'm just like damn we just, money, yeah. we just everywhere we're buying we're getting mansions we're just throwing parties i mean we shit we made it fucked around and slid to a diddy party on some <laughs> accident we was just outside so bad we was in the shit with dj envy we damn near was like we were just every fucking where we were having a ball but yeah. i'm glad i did run it up to fuck it up but at the end of the day it was just like damn that's why when i watched that movie um the pandemic boys or yeah. something with uh, yeah, yeah, Jack yeah, Bunny. Yeah, that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> the end of it was so triggering because like I felt that like where that boy that killed himself was coming yeah. from rest in peace to him but it was like you be on top of the world like that's why some rich people they can't handle being yeah. poor that's why they envy like us urban people a little bit because we know how to come from poverty and mm -hmm. literally start over a rich person they'll like kill themselves yeah, and no, the family sure. the dog yeah. the fish everybody yeah, got yeah. to die like yeah, every sure. fucking yeah. body so yeah, yeah. Like, no, that's just true we, 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 when you come up in that you kind of know how to maneuver when, it, mm -hmm. when shit get to you know saying you gotta reset we know how to set we know how, like to us and like, like our, our and our shit we be like listen if you could get it once you can yeah. get it if you really no, a hustler, sure. you like, just gotta sit down reset yeah get that shit get or planned. you a pandemic boy yeah, or yeah, a yeah. ppp boy yeah, like, yeah. which one i mean i couldn't be that person I was, oh I, my i'm God. too scared though. i'm too scared to even do like illegal shit like <laughs> as i was a little nigga i just thought about like jail <laughs> i thought about the end like, like damn i could be in jail like i ain't doing this shit <laughs> fuck it like, smart guy man, I, you see i'm because there's no really no yeah, other options exactly. out of it you know i mean right? some niggas get away but then when the money start getting too good you don't know how to stop yeah you get addicted yeah and then niggas the police will watch you go ahead just stack it up like we gonna just watch this nigga what do. you think they let me do like Man. you really think he was doing that oh, yeah. nobody yeah. noticed him for that long and he's flying a hundred people out of town and all the yeah. other stuff yeah yeah like, but <laughs> and that whole dog you know speaking of i don't know what i saw but uh the doll face nigga had um you know who the doll face dude yeah me and him actually i got some i got some exclusive when you oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. he had said something like uh, basically about somebody being in Blade Icewood Kemp basically knowing about the whole setup and shit he so was I'm definitely like, set up yeah, they, yeah I'm like so I'm like who the fuck is it like it probably somebody known that kind of like either set him up or knew about the setup and didn't stop it yeah with Blade yeah. so I'm, I'm kind of interested in the scene you had to set up a guy in a wheelchair yeah but my thing is this though like and then, do I want to know though? Like, do you want to really bring up something that old to really start beef out here in the city? Like, Blade been dead for a long time. Like, it, it still hurt though. <laughs> we still hurt. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what was you about to say about uh... <laughs> dog face? Yeah. Okay, so um. Hold on, hold on. Before you say, like, you know, say it, we. Are you, are you sure about you okay about telling this? No, yeah, we my... like okay. We're... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we um. <laughs> We got some uh, exclusive music coming out. And okay, whatever. good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, no, we have some. <laughs> we got some. We got some excuse, exclusive music coming out, and um, we just chopped it up the other day. So we got like we got a hit for sure, and yeah. that's my dog. Like for sure, he's actually a nice, genuine person. Like I yeah. see what people see on the internet and stuff like that, but I don't know. He's like he gives me like you know he's like a like a mature like wise uncle or somebody like yeah, sure. and like he doesn't play that so like you can't disrespect me or he got uh, you yeah. know it's crazy so what is that because he, he don't do music do like, no but y'all so he just like what you, you say he's, he's then we're like an a and r like something okay. like that and then he has his you know his media his mm. in like i guess internet stuff that he does yeah or whatever he says he's building like his you know yeah. memoir or whatever for, sure. for people like how you guys start and then it's like yeah pretty soon y'all be big like drinking chance and shit like hell that. yeah cause he, I, I, I peep you know what I'm saying I peep uh, him and uh, you know Kid L and shit they, they got platforms Fuck and shit yeah. but guess what nigga y'all gotta mention me nigga you do <laughs> you do though you, you gotta give me saying? a call hell yeah, yeah, sure, my bad. Like, no hell you do yeah. though no you got to you got cause to cause I had to come here honestly yeah. I haven't done no podcast or nothing since I've done that TV show yeah. so like I was just like you know what I know who I'm gonna do it with I know so, I'm gonna come yeah. 
get it. I appreciate the, it. Hell you know, yeah. Hell yeah. Cause everybody want to know. Everybody wants to know. Yeah, because we got first sent the, uh, the DM. I was at work because I work midnight and shit. Then I'm like, who's this? I'm like, goddamn. <laughs> But really? Then, uh, and then you was worried then, about the unfollow. Then, then I was listening to music like, oh yeah, she, all right, she's straight. We can go ahead and make some, you know, what I'm saying make something happen and shit. But uh, so you say, so you do got some music in the work. I have an EP coming out. Yeah, talk about that. Eleven Eleven. It's not like Chris Brown's Eleven Eleven, but it's coming out on Eleven Eleven. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's titled The Beginning okay. because this is like my freshman like EP. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning. Um, I've been up and down, y'all, with making music. I have a lot of singles that I've been doing. I've been doing like background mm -hmm. uh like features with like payroll different mm -hmm. people just writing music because i write as well so sure. um just doing that in the background then i had a jealous boyfriend mm -hmm. so i could never it was kind of me choosing do not do this if you're an artist and you're a woman or a man do not let your relationship take you away from your dreams like no, say sure. the Hell course no. do not let do not let your personal yeah. life separate you from your dreams mm -hmm. like you have to pick your head up and just keep moving and, forward and you don't want to stick with nobody who's gonna kind of like yeah. nigga be like hating on your shit that you, you do because a lot of motherfuckers don't even know what it is like because they ain't got no type of shit that they do outside of eight nine to five right. and then they see you doing your shit they they think Thinking, oh, that shit ain't bringing no money in, or that shit ain't gonna amount to nothing. So he tried to, you know, what I'm saying, not their vision, it's not yeah. for them. Everybody has their own journey. Like that's not their vision. So I don't really get mad at people who can't see what God gave me. So mm -hmm. it's like this is my vision, this is my journey. So I don't talk about your journey. Yeah. Just let me do mine. So do you got like a team with you, like as far as like you know, saying people help you in this little in this music shit, or just you dolo and out here? Well, I was dolo until last week. Mm -hmm. Um, I uh just got offered a distribution deal with mm. the this label YTC they're from Tampa okay and they really oh my god like shout out to Dre shout out to all of them um amazing like they sure. are on tour mm. with different people they they were touring with Kodak Black mm. like just a lot of people they are overseas and just doing like a lot of stuff so I'm dropping my music through them yeah and shit like that so hell yeah the opportunity just fell in my lap like hey. no for sure hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah what do you think it take to be a successful artist cause right now you got so many people from the city Detroit we popping right now as right. far as music and movies and shit what do it what is it gonna take for you to stand out and shit from everybody else um, confidence. Mm. You gotta have confidence, y'all, because when I just auditioned for that TV show, it was basically like a pageant for like the hood. Like mm. yeah. you really <laughs> had to be like that bitch. If you weren't feeling yeah. like you were that bitch, you been you might as well go home because it's not for the week. Life is not for the week. Mm. I feel like living is not for the week. You can't be weak out here mm. because like you gotta eat or be eaten. So for it's sure. kind of like you gotta feel like you are who you say you are. If mm. you don't believe you are who you say you are, how are we gonna believe it? Yeah, for sure. So you can't look yourself in the mirror and actually believe that's who you are. We you can't give that energy out when you walk outside mm -hmm. so you have to love yourself first no matter what size shape color nothing you got to be like i'm more yeah. than that so yeah, you gotta yeah. stand on your shit love yourself at motherfuckers you do ball yeah. head ass nigga yeah shit. you do so what like so what you got to be the best <laughs> no, boy sure. in the world like yeah, yeah i'm not like no for that's sure that's why i told my son like you the best hooper that ever came yeah, to here yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta play that. that shit so he'll be geeking him up before the games and shit like yeah he'll drop like 40 like yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey i might check i might check a little homie who man no y'all have to come I seriously y'all Y'all yeah. have to For sure Now um The whole conversation lately Been about you know Pussy rap You know what I'm saying Like female Cause he, shit The women be take, they, they Shit this probably been the most I seen as far as like Women rapping In a long time Cause you had like You know For a long time It was only Nikki Right that was, For a long for a time It was long just her Like 10 years Getting yeah. a decade Yeah you had like Rashida in that motherfucker She trash <laughs> Put him on a Make him wanna yeah. Like uh, Rashida <laughs> she Shout out to her Cause I do shop at her store At, yeah. at Press at, I fuck, um, with, I, was fuck with Eve, I was fucking with Eve And shit Like you know Back then you had Eve You had you know Trina and shit like that though. But like right now It's like It's been like the most As far as like It's, it's a lot of females Out here making a noise Hell How do yeah. you feel About the whole Pussy rapping Do you feel like like, do niggas want to hear a woman rap about something besides pussy? No, because I feel like sex sales um, mm. is um, Pornhub going out of style. Mm -hmm. It's never going to go out of style. Exactly. Because it's always somebody horny and want to see something. So mm -hmm. it may not be you today, but it may be you next week. This ass might not look fat this week, but my next video, it might look fatter <laughs> to you. Like, sure. you never know what it catch your eye. Sex sales. Everybody knows sex sales. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, if you talk about guns and shit all the time, they're going to be like, damn, she's too masculine. I don't yeah. really want to fuck with her. But if you be, like, a little bit promiscuous, like, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, you got the eye. It kind of yeah. draws all this attention to you. Like, make women want to be you or 
or sleep with you mm -hmm. and make the niggas definitely want you like for sure so you kind of want to it depends on your demographic mm -hmm. like for if sure. that's where you lead into and all that stuff my teeth yeah, yeah. come out <laughs> okay. if that's where you lead into while we talking about that you know up. like <laughs> well, I want to have a Janet Jackson Super Bowl no but like so but it, it depends on what your demographic is like I think sex sells and I grew up yeah, I grew up on Trina like Trina was my inspiration yeah, Trina was that that was my yeah. diamond princess that was that bitch I'm not gonna cap look I love Lil Kim I do I swear to god I do but Trina did something to me that girl was like some badass bitch no, like, no, Trina was yeah definitely yeah I love the old Lil Kim I don't like yeah, how she's yeah. Lil Kim was fine I don't know why, why you fuck yourself up like she that, didn't have Kim. to do that it's because Tupac was like no. Lil Kim I have my sexual no. ugly ass so no. Lil when Kim he was, said that man. I think that's when she went that, to the motherfucking you weak I, I had that post on my wall everything and then my yank at a young age to that, to that motherfucker Tupac post. did that y'all y'all don't think so he said that on his song y'all he called yes. her ugly out yeah. loud and she and was he, like oh hell no no I don't, I don't know <laughs> Tupac was tripping though cause he wasn't he just had to say that shit no just offense shit. Biggie wasn't no looker to call nobody yeah. ugly I'm not even gonna cap man hey man and it's a cute big nigga so we can't yeah. can't say that we not talking about the wig god damn rest yeah. his soul I love him though yeah Lil' Kim was she was a looker for real now she I'm was looking. fine as fuck hey, hell yeah Lil why Kim did she nice. do that now she look like Jigsaw I mean no offense <laughs> no for real like, who you fuck with as far as the women now I like Big Glow I love Glow really yo. I like her the reason why I like oh her cause God, she remind her. me of like 3 Six Mafia Memphis and yes, shit like she's so Memphis yeah. she's so Memphis that's why I love her music music mm, hell yeah or Cuban or Cuban so yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, been, she been working on herself got, her, got, the, got the titties on I deck I love that for her I'm so happy for her y'all cause coming from working in a drive through from a fucking fast food restaurant to being on stage and damn near franchising one of them motherfuckers yeah. now it's like anything can happen one thing about them tables they turn so they'll never make no let nobody make you feel like today is not sure. your day cause tomorrow could be your day hell like yeah. you don't know Never, don't look at right now as forever it's not permanent because if you're still alive that's not permanent for sure. so it's like you gotta I'm so proud of her I'm such Man. a girl's girl I love that she's doing this because she, and she's really a nice girl for sure, she's for really sure. sweet she's not no like arrogant type of person yeah. or nothing she yeah, yeah. loves yeah. like her fans Big Glow, nice. glow up and up that's my baby man. I love for her she know, shout out to Glow yeah I can't wait to get her on podcast one day <laughs> and you are though one day oh, yeah. soon for, for sure. real no fast 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 um when last time you cried what was the reason and it can't do it, it, it can't have nothing to do with death <laughs> today yeah. I cried today yeah because you know why yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord have mercy crying your ass off huh yes I cried a river yeah. like I was pissed off but yeah. it was like <laughs> my lashes are still on so I'm good <laughs> I feel like crying is a good thing y'all y'all yeah. have to cry I, I don't mind if my man cry or men cry either like so, you have to cry because if you keep it bottled in then I feel like that's where suicide rates no no hell yeah because then you're crashing out because you like I didn't left everything Thing in you have nobody to vent yeah. to. People look at you like Tyrese. They like, damn, he always cry every time we see him. Like, why the fuck y'all? Hey, damn. <laughs> so, <laughs> and y'all, yeah. we y'all not right. No, that nigga do be crying. Y'all not, not right. <laughs> that private club, that nigga's that bitch. No, he threw a tissue. That's he's really thing. going through something. Y'all, I really believe he's trying to pull himself but out of a depression. Tyrese is a dope artist, and he's dope though. Yeah, like I fuck, I, I fuck with R and B. I fuck with R and B a little bit more in rap. Like low Same, key, like, y'all. I swear to God, nigga, I be at work. Niggas be like, this nigga probably listening to rap. Music. I'm listening to RB that motherfucker. <laughs> RB, I wish I could. I wish I could sing. I'll be singing for no reason. I definitely can sing. For real? Oh shit! I can sing. All right, I ain't gonna put you on the spot. What? We just do the rapping shit. <laughs> I can sing. Okay, we, we 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 gonna get a little bit both then. Shit, fuck <laughs> it. But uh, yeah, with 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 men crying sometimes. I mean, it's cool to cry. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be a crybaby ass nigga. But but what if that is you? Like, what if that is really you? Could you be unapologetically you? Mm -hmm. Like, what if you are an emotional person because yeah. you've been through a lot? You know, some people probably been through a lot. Yeah. It'd be certain things that trigger me just because I think about like my mom's and shit. Exactly. Like my mom passed away, so it'd be like certain TV shows I might yeah. watch. Like I can't watch a. Uh, I can't watch Crooklyn. <gasps> Cause That's at the end, movie. when the mama died at the end, I be like, "Oh, yeah, so how would you feel about power with Monet?" Oh yeah, that that shit was fucked up. I ain't cried. It wasn't like a tearjerker. Like, yo, now that was a tearjerker for yeah. me when he cut out her to wait. I was like, "Stop yeah. saying that! Like, Man. don't say that she's gone. She's leaving." Like, that was. How terrible. did you feel about that last episode? I didn't even watch it, y'all. So do not tell me because I listen. Oh, see, I text my supposed... mom and get her to <laughs> non-disclosure. Like, you better not say <laughs> nothing about power tonight. Yeah. I'm not playing with you. You better watch. You better hurry up. I'm surprised you didn't no, see no spoiler. Stop, please, please, please. That's why I'm going to internet and I'm done. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't even answer DMs until Sundays. So it's like, I'm not even coming back until I get there. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, that shit funny. Yeah, Mo, I mean, Mo, yeah, Monet came in that bitch like, like a super two. Yeah, what the fuck? She thought she was going without a vest. And then Tariq, you got her killed because ghosts, you'll never be ghosts. Ghosts would have shot him through the curtains while he was professional. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're not ghosts. Like, what do you think he was but doing? But it's a good thing he didn't, though. 
Why? Because you still got that video out there. He had to be st st strategic. Oh. Got that shit. Got that shit right. Got Wait, it. Got you it. Right. You right. Yeah. Right. Because you right. kill that nigga. Now that video out there. You don't know who he might have sent it to. As far as you know, what I'm saying. But how about they thought Tariq was dead? So why would they just yeah. up your video if they thought you were dead and yeah. he died? They wouldn't ever yeah. know who killed him. They wouldn't even thought about you because you're dead. So so you like you you like the OG power bearer than the new. Of power? course. What? Yeah. Where is they need? I thought he was gonna pop out on this one. Like yeah, nigga. You thought I know niggas been waiting for that shit for a long please, time. Please, man. please, Ghost please. Go but Ghost that last season, that nigga started. Why his name Ghost? Don't Ghost Linger. Yeah. So where he at? I see him come back in the future or something, man. 50, maybe. Come on now, stop playing. But, but Fifty has said that Ghost was supposed to have been died, but they just kept Why him alone. Why you want to do that to us? <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? I was already sad about Proctor. Like I can't take all of that. He's a real like, nigga though. <laughs> who, all right, who more of a real nigga, Proctor, for Ghost? Or Method Man for Tyree. Ooh, it's Method Man. You gotta know yeah, it's Method Man. Yeah. I don't know because, but Proctor did lay some niggas down a, though. Yeah. He was stepping behind. He had two lunatics, not just Baby Tariq. He had Tommy and. Yeah, and he didn't want to fuck with Tommy at all. He was terrified yeah, of him. Yeah, he yeah. He was terrified of him. Tommy was a hard ass nigga for killing him. Hey, Davis wouldn't have been scared of Tommy. See, that's the difference between yeah. both of them. That's why I fuck with Davis. Davis, yeah. like, nigga, I just caught my first. But you know what though? Davis, when he caught that body, he was shook. It had me thinking different of him. I thought his background was probably on some thug shit. But the way he Choked him out. It was like he, nigga, I ain't you. I don't ain't do never, this. Tariq, they got him in some <laughs> That they pulled the gun out like. Yo, Tariq got him on bullshit. Why did he follow Tariq? No. Why did he follow this little but, ass boy? Tariq, the only nigga who paid him though. <laughs> yeah. Nobody else ain't paying him no and money. And Mona, he fucking hurt for what? Is she yeah. paying him? Yeah, yeah. Like. All right, man. so I'm gonna tell you. All right, you know, saying I'm in a relationship, but fuck it, we talk about it. What from both powers? Who the nigga? You be like, damn, I want to see with that nigga. I'm gonna tell you, the girl, I want to oh, smash out like all, right, all of them like. <laughs> hey, you, you, you know, you got it was a lot of niggas in that motherfucker. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> no. it, it was a lot of females in there too. I love you. So I'm trying because with me, how old was the how old, damn how old was Effie and them niggas like? I, they're grown. How old, I think okay, they're, they're, they're grown. grown. They're yeah. old enough for you to say. Yeah, as long as they're over twenty two. Yeah, no, they're they're <laughs> they're, they're, they're probably like twenty one, but they're they're yeah. there. I think they like. They're not teenagers. All right, let me let me think about somebody else then. No, one. she's beautiful. You. Oh, I did want to hit what's name though the counselor or the teacher and shit. <laughs> With the fro? Uh, the one who um who got who 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 sing was he? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was a freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why I can never be that. a teacher, y'all. Let, let me get that dog. <laughs> she was nice. Hey. If I was I would have tried to. Hey. <laughs> That's why I couldn't be no teacher. Oh, no. I just know. Hell no, you better not be my high school teacher. Ah. I would have flunked out like. Because I don't. It's not even funny because no. I, I'm I'm the person that believes that age just is, is a number. Mm -hmm. Like I'm one of them. Like mm -hmm. I don't look at if you're mature and mm -hmm. like because y'all I went viral for fucking with some whatever this mm -hmm. little rapper boy. He was young. We yeah. was getting money, but like <laughs> then I was like, well shit, they watching us. Let's do like a um, a YouTube channel. Like they are and our shit went crazy. I just yeah. knew it because I'm like I'm a marketing genius, but like. <laughs> It was just like I I don't see nothing wrong with it. He was not no little kid. He yeah. paid my bills and all shit. Shit like niggas fifty won't do. So it's yeah. like you can't <laughs> say you a man or you grown yeah. if you're not really living. I mean, like at this that. age, I am. I'm I'm, I'm thirty eight. If I was if I was single, I probably the youngest I'd probably go right now. Probably probably. It, you want to talk to a 21 year old who got her shit together, credit everything, and she's like if a I'm boss. She on her all shit. It's gonna everything. be hard. My son about to be eighteen. <laughs> what, is that guy, what is that though? I, 25. 25 is the youngest? Yeah. I don't know. If I was 21, I would have pulled. I'm not even gonna lie. Because, <laughs> uh uh. Like, ain't nobody turning me down at 21. No. I'm not going you for might, it. You, you, you might get clapped or something. But like, <laughs> I'm gonna be around, like, yeah. all the way. Yeah. Padded and everything. Yeah. Like, all it, 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 it depends. It depends. But, like, relationship wise, I, I can see myself relationship wise. Maybe messing around wise. Yeah. Whatever. Relationship wise, I just. 38 and 21, I just feel like we probably wouldn't have nothing to talk about. You would be surprised. How many people have old souls though? Like yeah, you know, no, it's really sure. people that's way beyond their years. You'd be like, damn, why you? You'd be like, how old are you? And they'd be like, oh, I'm just this. Like, damn, you're yeah. really, really calm. Like no, some sure. of their parents be older. Yeah. So some people have parents that's like 70 or yeah, something, yeah. and they're they've only been around them, so they're not yeah. like. Cause see, my pops was yeah. like what. Seven, eight, eight years old. My mom. My mom's like seven yeah. years older than my dad yeah. too. So. Yeah, I, I just found out when I got old as hell that my granddad was younger than my grandma. Like damn. Same. That's crazy. Like, my granddad, saying, boy, I'm a cool grandma. The rest of the piece of my grandma. <laughs> Yo, it be like that. So they been doing that. It's nothing new under the sun. Like yeah. my granny always say that. Like it's nothing new under the sun. So who's that power dude? You want to, you know? Oh wow, I cannot believe I couldn't get you off that. I tried to make you forget. <laughs> no. That is crazy. Good journalist is still. Oh, you too good. Um. Jesus. Cause like I said, I it ain't know. 
Kane. Yes, that's my type. So yeah. bad. I'm surprised oh. you. Uh, I'm surprised you picked them up. With, all the women love met them, man. No, he fine, but it's Kane for me. Kane. Like he's well, I see, so I think rebellious. I can't, I can't not see Bobby Brown. He's rebellious, and that's <laughs> it, Bobby Brown was rebellious. No, so. for sure. that's why Bobby Brown was cracking. I was probably with Bobby Brown yeah. back in the '70s too. Yeah. What's happening? Like, Bobby Brown was definitely cracking him. Yeah, so and I would have been one of them ones. Like <laughs> I'm there. Like I had to be there. Like he Damn. was fine as hell. Nick Bobby had Janet Jackson. Yes, and he had Whitney fucking Houston. Yeah. That is an icon. Like, yeah, Bobby. that nigga just as lucky as Nick Cannon with Murray Cherry. Like how do you, what the fuck did y'all eat some luck Cheerios today? Like what the fuck? How do you get Murray Cherry pregnant? Like no, for sure he did. Doctor got a billionaire. Got twins That's in that motherfucker though. Wow. Nick Cannon got him a nice little roster. Wow, and he don't care because he he's just like fuck it. Yeah. He has lupus. So if I if I had that and I knew I was gonna probably not be so much, I'd be like shit, fuck it, let's get to it. Yeah, man. You want to leave your legacy for sure, for sure. What's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? Uh, I want to be a vet mm -hmm. and a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, a vet. I love animals so much. Um, I went to school. I used to take care of, like, ferrets, uh, tortoise, mm -hmm. like, those really extremely big turtles. Yeah. People think they're turtles, but they're tortoise because they're, mm -hmm. like, humongous. Mm -hmm. um, like, but, and I learned something about animals when I did that. That's why I really wanted to be, like, with the ferrets, one of our ferrets died from cancer. Mm -hmm. So, like, the other two died because they were so sad. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep, like, that's it's how so big crazy. Is. That's no. how it, people be thinking, I'm like, do yeah. you understand? Like, these things really, they're not even thinking. I feel like they're little souls, yeah. and it was like, damn, I want to be a vet. No, that's how uh, my uncle, I remember my uncle had two uh, guinea pigs, and one of them died, and right after the other one died. Because, like, they, they, you would die from <laughs> being lonely. I remember. Yes. <laughs> that's humans, dude. Do you know you live longer when you're married? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yo, when yo, you have a single Your wife or your husband died, you be old, you be like, damn. My granny, she finally got tired, and she did not want to live without her. My granddaddy was such a good guy, y'all. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something, even though it's off note. My granddaddy was such a boss, y'all. He married my my granny with a rollie. They had matching mm. rollies. He yeah. opened up the box at the Damn, I need be your family. Shit. Like, he opened up a presidential. Like, I yeah. was like, this is crazy. Man. He put it on her wrist. Like, but he got her a ring anyway. For sure, so, for it was sure. like, he want, I guess he wanted to do his thing. Yeah, 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 so, it was like, they was throwing dollars instead of rice. It was just, it was just crazy. <laughs> that's how when I hey, got good do. fellas. I'm like, the Nigerians, I'm young, I'm looking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They be spraying. Like, yeah. they be spraying you, making it rain on you on your Please on birthdays and uh, weddings. Yeah. Yes. Because I was, uh, my cousin um, engaged to a Nigerian dude. So, we went to her birthday party. And I wonder why she in the middle, just spraying her and she's like, yeah. like, spray. like he came over like we about to spray you I'm like spray you what the fuck is that okay, okay. but then that's when they, <laughs> that's when they just it'd be like thousands of dollars that they motherfucking just pouring on you and, and shit. they got it out the ATM just to go yeah. to your party I'm like hey my Those birthday kind of my I birthday joke <laughs> <laughs> so uh but no before like I said you, we, we've been talking chopping it up where you from like where your childhood I'm from Finkel. Mm -hmm. I'm from 4 1. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, West Side. That shit. way. Damn. Only down. Is, do, do everybody got something? Like, everybody having a show be from the West Side. I'll be surprised when I get East Side nigga on the show. Why? They might not feel. What is this? The West Side? No, uh, no, shit. It just be. It, Where we at? We on the East. Oh. We, oh. we super East. Oh, damn. You know, we <laughs> fuck with everything. Yeah, we, we deep East. But no, a lot of people, I know it's a lot of artists I get on the show, everybody from the West. But just talk about who's in, who was in your crib and how was it being a young writer? Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. We was really one of them families where <clears throat> all the nieces and nephews and the we all stayed together. It was like mm -hmm. so many of us in one house. Like I looked at my cousins as my brothers because mm -hmm. they stayed there. It was so many of us. Like we kind of we didn't care. Yeah. But we were sleep, all sleeping in the bed, all sleeping on the floor. Like we was just having so much. I realized those were such good memories. Oh my god, I didn't know that we were all grow up and go our separate ways. We used mm -hmm. to be huddled together. That to me was like the best times of my life. Some people may be like, oh y'all were struggling, but to we embraced that. Like we yeah, were having yeah, yeah. so much fun. I had seven big brothers, so pull up. Like what's up? Yeah. So like I had all these bonus brothers and sisters so we grew up like that and like grew up around a bunch of hustlers I'm not gonna lie like my sister and them was wearing rollies to high school back in mm. the 90s so yeah. it's like I just kind of just been peeping like since I was little and my people's had cell phones cover TVs like yeah, we sure. grew up in the projects but we was like hood rich like yeah, yeah, yeah. we was hood rich yeah. so like I don't know and I got in a lot of fights like a lot of fights people probably watching this I probably didn't fought them <laughs> like I got in a lot of fights like I've been there with Krishan for sure <laughs> yeah. like well, about, in my time sure for sure but I had to stop when I start catching charges and shit. So, for sure, yeah, yeah, slow like, down a little yeah, bit. Hell yeah, but that's what it was because I'm short and I'm pretty, and like a lot of guys want to talk to me, so mm -hmm. their boyfriends be like, so they'll get mad and yeah. then they'll get stretched. So it's like <laughs> pointless. So, you, you say you went to Bowling Green for college? I did. Where you where you go to high school? Mumford. Mumford. Hey, oh, you super west side. Hey. Yeah. I wanted to go to Cooley, but my mom was like, oh no, you're from this hood, girl. You're not mm -hmm. going to jail. Yeah. I probably 
party with the Joe if I went to Cooley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout so, out to Cooley, though. Yeah, so high school, you shit, grades got to be good. You went to college and shit like that. I did. Oh, my God, y'all. My ninth grade year, I did not do good because I fought the entire ninth grade year, y'all. Because my friend is like a six-mile school. Mm -hmm. So my fickle 15 came off on one, everybody in Cooley. Yeah. Like, I'm going to a whole nother hood. I told yeah. my mom, like, my, this ain't, you don't understand. This is street stuff. You can't just put me somewhere. I'm not even from <laughs> these. Like, what type of times you want? So she put me over there. I'm like, all right, bet. So yeah. I felt like I went to, like, um, I feel like I went to juvenile or something. So I'm yeah. like, okay, here we, here we go, here we go. Yeah. So I got in a fight so much, bro. <clears throat> and then, like, my, my aunt, she, um, she brought a gun in the school and like she made me beat this girl up and told her she better not swing back. <laughs> so they put me out of all these trip public schools after that. It was over. I swear to God. They, they just put me out. Then where you go? Clintendale? No, I went to Berkeley. Shout out okay. to Berkeley. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cause I said on the uh, east side, niggas who get kicked out of the trip public schools got they go to Clintendale. No, uh, that's worse though, because there's still east side people. I've been over there getting jumped by east side girls and I'm from the west side. Like, <laughs> yikes, we'd have Man. to come. Do another school. See, I wanted to go to what's name, man, but my mom wouldn't let me move with my uncle during the uh, weekday. I wanted to go to CMA just because I was supposed to hoop I over there. I just rode past there for the first time yeah. in my life. Because my, uh, my cousin was playing basketball over there. I'm like, all right, I'm going to come over here and hoop over here. And then my mom was like, fuck, no. I'm like, so, shit, I was on it. Because it's still like, you think you want a good school yeah. until you see the people yeah. in there. And it's like, I mean, I went to a photo school, too. I went to Southeastern. We was. Oh, hey, SE. Yeah, my baby yeah. daddy went to SE. Oh, for real? She not, went? nope. I know. No, 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 no. No, no. I, I, what year he graduated? I don't know. No, he was best friends with Soda and PZ, so like he'd okay. be with them, Team East side. Okay. No, but what year he graduated? Uh, I don't need any, because if he, I'll graduate 04. I'm he's 34, so I don't know which year. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he, he, he's older yeah, than he, me. He under me. He under me. He under yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Then my, uh, my, my friends, Sakia and Panky, they went there too. They went to the Southeastern Shoes in the yeah. band. Hell yeah. 30, 30 cool. is my man. Southeastern, you already know what it is. Hey. I went there for the last two years. I was trying to go there. I was trying What's to go to the King. King. I wanted to oh, go to King. Okay. You went to King. I wanted to go to King. But my first two years, no, I went to Southeastern. King I, had a football team out there. Hell yeah. Always, though. always. But I went to Gross, Gross Point North for my first two years. There was a suburban school. Gross Point North. We played them. They kicked me out because they found out I stayed, you know, saying back in Detroit. So they kicked me out. So I finished my That's first two wrong. years. Came back to Detroit. Wanted to go to King, but I was on like a waiting list. So I went to Southeastern. So shout out to Miss Gallon. She was cool and shit. I met all my hey. homies there and shit, man. So Southeastern was cool. We was good. Yeah, my friend was good until uh, after 15 fights. And I finally got the message that I was just like, if you're not ready to step in the court, mm -hmm. just leave me alone. All right, now you talk about these fights, but tell me that story when you got laid. Oh, you got beat down. Oh, my God. Well, you, you, you ain't win all of them. Um, <laughs> Unless you Floyd out here. You might got hands. I don't know. I think I lost a fight. <laughs> Against my big sister, yeah. right here, um, she can fight really good. I don't know why, <laughs> but hands are young. yeah, I couldn't beat her. <laughs> Me and my little sister had to jump her one day because we, she was whooping us so bad, yeah. and I felt so bad. I'm like, this is my sister. Yeah. Then her home girl jumped in. I'm like, what the? <laughs> like, what? Now your Man. friends jumping us? And like, what? Man, funny as hell. God no, damn. that's probably the only other thing I ever take is my big sister because um, I grew up fighting like boys. I'm not gonna lie because it's so. I'm sorry, it's so many like boys in my family. It wasn't really many girls. So so we were all like really rough. Mm -hmm. I was wearing throwback jerseys, y'all, and I had braids like Iverson. I always wanted Iverson <laughs> braids. I thought I was gonna be a dyke. Like, because <laughs> I used to like those. Y'all, we, this podcast was too much. Y'all got me doing too much. Hey, man, this, hey. People don't even know this side of me. They never even heard me talk, so they're gonna be blown away. Like, seriously. Hey, that's what I try to do. I try to make sure we have this conversation, just regular shit, like we talking no. without the cameras being here. Right, I didn't forget about this camera. Y'all didn't even remind me. Like, hey, 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 that's, that's that make a good episode. Yeah. No, so no I thought I was going to be like hey because I kept fighting I had jerseys and boys they I didn't think they liked me or they did but they were you know how boys pick on you because they like for you for sure hell yeah so it's like a loving basketball thing because I play basketball so I mm. used to hoop with all the boys mm. and I used to get into it with all of them and I'm like why do y'all always want to pick on me so I was yeah. just like whatever <laughs> and then like I just didn't know I was like start pushing them down yeah. like beating them up so yeah. but then I'm like oh I like boys now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you say you thought you were going to be a, you know you say a dyke because you wearing the throwback jersey and, and I had Iverson braids yeah. like I with my real hair I was yeah. like not no weave I was yeah. like literally thugging yeah. like yeah. when the Pistons won I had the same braids Richard Hamilton had <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my nigga Rip dog 
<laughs> flat out. So now do like when you get out, do you ever be like on some I'm gonna dress down type of shit or you always gotta make sure you fly? No, I'm a fly ass bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna See that's how I need from the west side. This is the difference. East side motherfuckers come outside just be like, man, fuck it. We I'm just not wearing a bonnet or nothing. Just, oh no, please don't. Flops. No, I don't give a fuck where you from. No pajama pants or like nothing. Like my mama told me if a, if a woman go out the house with pajama pants on bonnet, her pussy probably stunning. Yeah, nasty ass bitch. Like that's what she cause like my mama used to drop my son off to, to preschool. It's like all these <laughs> all these stink pussy ass hoes come oh out here. Oh my god, that's uh, it. So I can smell your pussy like, dog, hair. See, like my thing is you you had enough time to get up, put some regular clothes on, washed up and shit. You come out there with the pajamas, that means you came straight from the bed, pajama yeah. duck. And then you went back home, got Nasty in the bed. Pussy. Man, duh. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> No, I don't care if I'm going to the freaking liquor store I'm, or the corner. I'm like, I have yeah. to be that. Why say dress say down? You never know who you gonna meet there. Yeah. Your husband no, might sure. care. Like, but when I say dress down, I mean like just just some a regular tea and some oh yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Like, I could do that. But if I'm stepping out somewhere, like I have to probably, I I want all the attention. I want the room. Like, <laughs> I want the room for sure, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, you, you go get it. <laughs> no, I want, <laughs> I want souls. I want all that. Like, <laughs> now let me let me now. now. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid him, <hell>, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you a silly Y'all got the right motherfucker on this show today. I'm telling you. Now, <laughs> now um, I'm not going to lie. My producer is a fan of reality TV. Okay. He love it. His nigga is a reality Do you? whore. Ah, admit it. <laughs> like, he love oh. it. <laughs> He watched Love Hip Hop. That's probably why. It, probably yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be on our next though. So yeah. please shout. I ain't watched Love Hip Hop since. Call me. The first, the, the last time I watched Love Hip Hop, Jim Jones was on there. From New York. Yeah, that's like that's the only time I watched it. I think I was in oh, high no. school. Matter of fact, I watched the um. I'm old as hell. You said you was high school. I was in <laughs> high school when that was on. Tell so you, I'm. No, I, the last episode I watched was when Scrappy had fought um. Uh, what's my man's name? Be doing? Yeah. yeah. He fought somebody. Yeah. Stevie J. Remember they had fought in the bushes reunion. in the bush? No, before the first oh. episode, they oh, fought in the bushes. You, she's the reality queen. Yeah. Okay, you don't know. She knows everybody kids' names too. So, <laughs> so talk about you know what I'm saying baddies. Of, is, is it baddies of the Midwest? It's baddies Midwest. Baddies. Mid first, I thought it was Detroit baddies. I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's gonna get crazy, right? Yeah. So, what made you want to be a part of that? And how did you even find out about the show and shit? I'm damn near about to hire my sister as my manager at this mm. point, y'all, because. She the one who called me yeah. and was like, I told you, about it. you need to go on Baddies. Baddies is coming to Detroit. I'm mm. like, when and where? Because I used to stay in Virginia Beach. Mm. And um, when I moved back here, they had Baddies Caribbean uh, mm. auditions down there. So I'm like, damn, I'm not even down there. What are the odds I moved a year later they have yeah. that? So I'm like, well, fuck it. If it's mine, I don't ever look at opportunities that miss me. It's not for me. For sure. I always be like, if it's for me, it's going to be for me. Mm. So... I seen it. She like, oh yeah, it's next week. I'm like, next week, damn. Yeah. So I'm like, good thing I'm already a bad bitch. Like, I don't gotta get ready. <laughs> like, so I think that I told her the next day, like, yo. <laughs> Is she dead serious? No, it's funny as hell. Say so you ain't even gotta get ready. You already. Ready. They say if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Mm. So she called. I'm like, I called her. She like, I was like, guess what? I was, she's like, what? I'm like, I said them all. This tape. This was like an hour after she told me. It. Yeah. She like, you said the all. This is a for yeah. real. I'm like, I'm not playing. And now yeah. you're going with me because you should never tell me. For sure. So now you're there. She's like, you're dead serious. I'm like, I'm so serious. So I got my um, email, and they were like, some people were like. DM me and whatever they're like are you gonna do baddies I didn't tell nobody cause yeah. you know how I'm a firm believer and if you tell people <laughs> their energy sometimes you don't know the response they're For really sure. really giving you so you gotta be careful what you tell people mm -hmm. so I didn't tell anybody but my sister and I'm like okay I'm gonna do this or whatever oh and our hunger shout out to Jazz mm -hmm. but I'm like you guys gotta come with me cause if I get jumped I'm gonna have somebody just come air that bitch out cause I'm gonna <laughs> just get so mad <laughs> like so I'm like please yeah. don't make me do that yeah. so like <laughs> we like we're going we're like whatever so we wake up, some girl was like, yo, we're going to go down there. She's like, no, I'm scared. I don't want to do yeah. it. So I'm like, scared? I'm like, oh, I can't do that. Like, I'm going for sure because I already committed to it. Mm -hmm. I told my sister, she like, people in the line for, they were in the line, y'all, at 5 in the morning. These people are lined at Huntington at 5 in the morning in heels and everything. These girls had, like, <laughs> tents and everything just for this baddies reality show. Man. I never was old enough to go on Bad Girls Club. I always wanted to go on there because uh, cause I got hands. So yeah. I'm going just, to just say it. Yeah. I, I can fight. But, um... I didn't want to go in there to fight because I get money. I'm yeah. a real boss ass bitch. Like I really get to it. Like I've I've touched a lot of money. So I just feel like I don't feel like I need to do that to prove that I'm a bad bitch. A bad bitch is somebody who really can turn zero to a hundred thousand or sure. just anything like that. A lot of bitches, they're not bad bitches. Yeah. But I mean, shout out to them making their transition to it. Like I hope they do. <laughs> See, you was so, already you born in this. Yeah, shit. <laughs> I was like since my since I got here. Yeah. Like <laughs> in, in the baby room, I knew it was me. Like, so I was like <laughs> 
we got there so i was like damn let's go get a bottle let's go get some weed or whatever because i'm like we're just gonna make our grand entrance i don't care they can have the line first we get there you would think my sister was all this shit for baddie she was so turned up when the i she first she was like yeah yeah, yeah. The, they i'm telling y'all the cameras came out this girl turned to a different person i'm like this is crazy yeah. we're pouring shots down people's throats we're like baddie baddie shot a clock baddie baddie like Y'all, we did that so we couldn't do it no more. We had in line for like five hours. Yeah, man. The line was five hours long. Yeah, that's funny as hell, dog. So, I, I just saw, the, you know, of course, we saw fights on social media and shit. Niggas getting beat down, wins getting crazy. pulled off and shit. Nose is broken. Titties getting popped off. All type <laughs> of shit was happening. What? <laughs> this girl literally, this is an exclusive, y'all. See, I'm. No more tequila. Oh, this girl had a miscarriage, y'all. I swear to God, Zeus, don't kill me for this. But this girl had a miscarriage or whatever in the bathroom because yeah. um, she was fighting. And, like, I think she just, I don't know, she forgot she was pregnant or. <laughs> but she had a baby duh, duh, duh. in that bathroom. <laughs> duh. That's wild shit, though. <laughs> but, duh, what? so what is it, like, because I know, I, uh, I remember, um, like I said, my wife watching motherfucking, um, What's that shit? Bad Girls Club. Yeah. And I'm seeing niggas scrapping shit like that, whatever, whatever. And matter of fact, old girl from off my show, um, rap, rap shit. She was, they say she was on there or some shit like that. What's her name? She was, she was like, she, uh, I forgot her name. I don't know. I know she was, she was in this show called Rap Shit. Period. And she came from that. But what, like, what is this show about? Like just because you know I'm a, I'm a nigga. I only think I watch on TV and sports. Period. You know what I'm saying? That's I it. love all, that you're so heterosexual. Yeah, or old reruns of Martin. Not that you're not heterosexual <laughs> if you don't, but it's just like you're just a uh, like yeah. okay, cool. Man, I just watch sports and motherfucking old reruns of Martin. Because in my house we watch baddies together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 so talk about the show like what what is it about well the show is really about like um it's basically like who the baddest bitches in the midwest mm. or wherever area they go they had west east of uh, caribbean wherever they go they pick the baddest mm. bitches and like basically you go party you you know they get paid to like sure. pull up. Yeah, 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 so it's yeah, really yeah. just get the bag put okay. promote yourself mm. uh really whatever your brand is it's gonna really it's supposed to turn you up mm. so you either take advantage of it or you get your ass knocked the fuck out on <laughs> national tv actually that's just really what it is yeah. i'm serious i'm trying to make it short because it's just crazy like them motherfuckers be scrapping yeah. i seen like a hundred it was like jumanji y'all i swear to god <laughs> Niggas I was that just, boy go crazy i told my sister like we're about to roll up they're like you yeah. guys can't smoke in here i'm like roll up yeah. i'm not even trying to hear that because we're not going in there with that <laughs> it's like oh, they were like listen y'all y'all see maury how like when they found out the baby daddy's not there so yeah, things are running the cameras was everywhere y'all i swear to god these girls beating blood and all you see yeah. is a microphone hit you with the head because <laughs> they're just like sliding over the table i'm like y'all gonna help her no and that was good one girl was like you got my cousin killed i'm at the i'm like oh yeah she's finna get it today god damn yeah it was crazy in there so are, so you on the show no well, okay. well i'm actually i'm on a, i'm on a few episodes i'm on like the first four episodes actually mm -hmm. um i did audition and i definitely did not get far or touched or nothing mm -hmm. because i don't know like god must have knew like yeah. she's gonna take it too far for sure so it's like nobody was like oh yeah i want to fight her me i was just like throwing money i was mm -hmm. just having so much fun i was like i was like the bank would give us a lot of ones we just got the most we could and yeah. i was like you know what we're just gonna just throw money like mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say a word i just start yeah. throwing money in this thing yeah. so yeah. when we went in it's two rounds you have to go through so you have to go through the girls who are already on the show mm -hmm. which is crazy mm -hmm. because they are already like on that type of time mm -hmm. so like shout out to all of them it's so many people i wouldn't name them but my my favorites is anna and uh, sapphire to my babies okay but like cash Dow, asia Dow, natalie you couldn't see them until you got to the big stage mm -hmm. like if you didn't get past the baddies, you couldn't get to the main baddie. Yeah. So, like, when you get through them, it was crazy. Sometimes, like, one girl came in there. She was like, I'm just here because my grandma passed. They're like, we're not trying to hear that sad shit. Everybody yeah. got a sad story. Duh. Why are you a baddie? Yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah. Like, fuck, fuck your shit. grandma. They're like, yeah, rest in <laughs> peace to her, but what's up? Like, <laughs> Man, that's funny as hell. I'm like, oh, so I know I've got to do my thing. Yeah. Hell yeah, go turn the They're fuck like, up. They're like, we don't give a fuck. Everybody grandma died. <laughs> My grandma died. I don't give a fuck. That's how he. That's how he had. Duh. That shit. Yo, y'all got me weak. I swear to God, that's what was happening. So I was like, yo, that's so bold that they said that. But me, I just knew. I'm like, okay, it's now or never. Once I seen the cameras, I knew it was showtime. I kind of asked myself, like, okay, what's the point? Like, yeah. what's the point? Like, yeah. what's the point? Like, 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 what's the point
this girl snuck in there y'all so she's on tv and she snuck in there y'all so like but they don't know your name so yeah she snuck in there but that's my because she's had to make sure she was right yeah but like i don't know we had a ball but once i finally got to natalie that was crazy. They was fighting so bad on that stage, y'all. Man. Manifest Cash Out was going to get your ticket. She told me Cash Out was going to get my ticket. Shout out to Cash Out. Real D-girl. D-girl. Yeah. She seen me with the buffs in a gator bag, and I was throwing money, and she was just like, oh, yeah, that's one of us. Come on. She heard me, got me out of there. She gave me my ticket first. Again, I got my shit first. I didn't say anything. They didn't even give me a chance to really get my shit off. Yeah. The first five seconds, look at my titty trying to come out again. The first <laughs> second, it was like, okay, yeah, come on. You did your big one. I walked in. I was like, well, let me just do this like a flower girl, but it's really money yeah. so i was just like let's just go so she like come here and they're like if we can't see your lace then you can get a ticket so i'm like well i'm a detroit bitch like duh you can't see our shit like yeah. we really do this shit <laughs> so i know they probably like when people come to detroit like no y'all can't see us like i don't know what the fuck y'all thought Man. this was like we really yeah. celebrities everybody in this bitch like y'all not really out celebrity in us like <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about no for sure our celebrities yeah. are celebrities pz is my favorite rapper out of all the industry people pz is my favorite yeah. rapper no, Shout yeah, out yeah. To yeah. Yeah. hey man come on Shoka. yeah for but real. yeah, yeah. Yeah, PZ and payroll. That's what I fuck with the Same. most. Same. Payroll. It's PZ and payroll for me. It's PZ and payroll. Mm -hmm. So, like, those are my favorite out of everybody in the world. Like, because I'm never going to just be like, not my city. No, my city. So, it's like, I fuck with them. Um, Yeah, but once I got there and she gave me my ticket, all I heard was her saying on the mic, like, not everybody kiss each other. Mm -hmm. Soon as I got my ticket, they were like, everybody kiss each other. Y'all, it was so many people kissing and so much stuff going God on. Damn. Like, it was fucking crazy. I wasn't going to kiss nobody. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, you say you over them days. Yeah, they didn't brush their teeth before <laughs> they came in there. Like, uh -uh, not kissing that. And it was even transsexuals in there, like fags. So yeah. it was like, you want me to kiss that dick sucker? I'm not doing it. <laughs> We can't both suck dick. Like, I don't want you doing that. I don't want you on me. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> so we both can't be out here. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Oh shit, dog. Hey, this all like that Stern guy show in a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he used to be he used to be the Howard Stern back in the day. Yo, man, what's some shit you want to gain from this shit? Like you want uh, use more eyes, you know what I'm saying? Once you to get yes. to what you really bought, your well, music shit. Me for yeah. sure, yes. My tape is dropping eleven eleven. So shout out to my team. Shout out to YTC. Yeah, really. Hold shout on, out to everybody. Now I, I say this shit, so I gotta say it to you. A lot of motherfuckers come on the show and say you gonna drop something. Oh no, it's happening. And then I'll be like, "Where the fuck is it coming?" And when you do, you better repost yeah. it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna, I know, for sure. We gonna get, you, we gonna, we gonna chop back up again. Oh, I'm gonna come through. Yeah. I got some shit on the floor. I'm not gonna cap. I got a lot of things yeah. happening, so I just wanna. This is just a segment of. I'm gonna be back with some other shit though. But for sure, for sure. Now we. It's been reality TV for a long time since the Flavor of Love days, the um, making a band. What's a show you wish you can go back on and be a part of? Making the band, even though Diddy was on some bullshit, yeah. I really still wanted to go on there. Yeah. I always wanted to go on there because I always did music since I was like little. I played the piano. I was a singer first, so like mm. I know like how to like learn how to play the piano and stuff like that since mm. I was a little girl. Mm. And I used to model, so we travel and used to model. <laughs> Yep. But yep. um making the band, like I always wanted to be in there. I, when Danny D Kane came, I was so young, y'all. I was so young staring at the TV. But I'm like, I just one day I'm gonna just do that shit. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Um no shade to Diddy, but he did like open doors for people, but at the same time, whatever, if that's what's going on, that's fucked up. For sure. But <laughs> yeah. It made me still it really instilled something in me to make me wanna be great from the shit he was telling them, like the good stuff, like mm -hmm. the good shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now we talk about music shit you said you was gonna rap for us today or whatever you know what i'm saying i know you had a little you know a little, little drinky drink but you know what I'm saying you ready you know what I'm saying rock and roll fuck it let me old see ass nigga say rock and roll rock and roll <laughs> hey, you ready rock and roll chicken. yo okay ain't nothing but chicken wing okay <laughs> all right yeah right you know what the fuck went on yeah yeah Look, I don't give a fuck what a bitch say. She ain't gon' do shit. She drop that low, I'm pullin' up just to brew shit. Try to copy and paste me, but forgot I'm so exclusive. I'm easy, eat hype, don't be misled, I get ruthless. Top down on the bins. 
I get ruthless. I got so much muscle. Why y'all bitches ain't moving? Baby girl, secure the bag. Don't be foolish. If you want to run it up, just ask me how I do it. Because we could go big coins or we could go scripts. Either way, it's going to pay. You got to take the risk. If you did it with a team, you got to pay the split. Call Mace Dance if you want to hit off slips. Bitch, I'm about my cream. Bitch, you know what that mean. Come get some money and be winning with the team. I'm about my cream. And you know what that mean. Come get some money and be winning with the team. Cash rules everything around me. Cream. Hey, get some money with the team. Yeah. Raya. Big Raya. Big Raya. Yeah. Rapping with your motherfuckers. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I don't rap, but I'm frisky. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you know that whiskey. Yeah. Hey, I'm just chilling in the crib. Yeah. Where my fucking ad live. Hey, my sister just had a baby, got a bib. <laughs> I think I'm about to get a crib. <laughs> Tell them no. boys don't ad lib. But you can't do it how we live. Gas tank on E, but all drinks on me. I'm the Don and I keep it so P. Bitches really know they can't fuck with me. I'm from Detroit. I'm really who these niggas want to see. Yeah, bust up for real. Fun about a meal. Tell the nigga what here. Pull up, then we drill. No, I don't know who got killed, but I know who got drilled. And I know who can't get shit. Not them fake pills. Rip to my nigga rich homie Quine. Damn, that nigga was kind of fine. If you know, these niggas can hit my line. Yeah. Shit, let me stop. I dropped these dimes. Cruising down the street at my six spot. Yeah. Niggas thought they was gonna pull up and I brought the pole. Yeah. Bitches don't know what I'm beef because I leave them on the streets. I chalk around the bitch and then I dance to this beat. Yeah. Dance. Hey, <laughs> she dancing on the beat. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I'm just a nigga from the streets. Yeah. Hey, hey, I get that girl good meat. Yeah. Hey, hey, because I really from the streets. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hey, you did that shit. You did that shit. No, for you, you did that shit. <laughs> Yo, what? No, oh, that shit was funny, though. No. Hey, that was a vibe. <laughs> hey, I told y'all yeah, I'm gonna do that shit. Told y'all I'm gonna do that shit. You already know what you, you know, say, get a little drink. You get to, you know, say, I'm You definitely get. never lie. You said the drink was gonna be better. Mm hmm. Yeah, hey, look at these cheese that I love. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. it. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Are, do you plan on going on more platforms to get your shit out there and shit? Or, yes. I wanna go, I'm going to go on Love & Hip Hop. Mona. Oh, no. I'm talking about... Uh, oh, yeah, oh that's what, hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah make that I'm shit happen. Going. I'm going. But I'm talking about uh, podcast shit in the city. Yes. I want to go on podcast. I want to go on Kid L. Um, yeah. I'm sure Dog Dogface got some shit going. You know, we no, have for just sure. connected. So, hell like, yeah, hell I'm yeah. sure me and him got some shit we going to put together. But, yes, um, I have a lot of stuff. I am going on a, a reality show. Another reality show. Mm. Um, I could tell y'all something. An exclusive for sure yeah i'm um, sorry i'm talking to the mic but yes um it's a reality show a dating show like flavor of love yeah but it's with memphis mm -hmm. you know memphis yeah yeah memphis hits yes i, I, I okay. don't know if that's the same one it's, it's, it's the one who went with uh who married toya Yep, that's him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I, I ain't heard that name in a minute. Yeah, so you're gonna be hearing about it. It's uh, um, it's with this network, SSS uh, mm -hmm. network. Shout out to them. Um, they reached out to me after you know when you get on the platform, you start doing baddies or movies and stuff like that. Exact. Watch Friends to Fall, y'all. It's on. It's on. Oh, I'm sure you watched that already. Yeah, go watch yeah. that. Go watch Mother May I. I'm in that too. Um, and go watch uh, what other movie am I in? That's crazy. That's how. That's the problems I want to have. Yeah, for what sure. What other movie am I in? <laughs> like, yeah. but I um. I have those shows, but yeah, shout out to uh, everybody who really did. Because, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I've been doing this for like just a little minute. Mm -hmm. But I used to do mu new music Mondays too. Shout out to DJ Mark. Yeah. Um, with the Coalition DJ. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. He just so, had some shit, like, yeah. anniversary shit, the other, like last weekend or something. In Atlanta? No, it was, it was here somewhere. Really? Yeah. Did y'all go? I wanted to. I need to get outside more. Man, hell yeah. Please <laughs> come outside. Come I need to get outside, outside more. Nigga, come my, outside. Nigga, my nigga, uh, Diddy, we call my nigga Deshaun Diddy and shit. <laughs> we got to return shit, dog. Hey, we call my homeboy Diddy too, and yeah. I just scared call him that no, now. my nigga Deshaun told me I need to get out more. Come outside. I'll be, I'll be in the house chilling My too sister much. always tell me like if you want to be in the room with those or you want to rub shoulders you want to be that you have to be in those kind of rooms. So no, I told sure. her when well, the baddies had a skating party I'm like yo we really yeah. was in there. We walked in with Natalie and everything like we were the bitches that night yeah. like they were like we seen you on TV throwing money. I was like hell yeah that's me like that's yeah. me. It's money on the flow like for sure. that's me. Hell yeah. Now I got this thing at the end towards the end we started doing these little games. Too early, too late, or right on time. I'm gonna give you something. You tell me if it was too early in your life, too late, or right on time. First time you had sex. Too early, too late, or right on time. Too early. Too early. Too early, y'all. Yeah. I got pregnant the first time I ever had sex. <laughs> like way too early. Yeah. Like I'm not even lying. Listen, if you a virgin. Yeah. 
Girl, what she say? Um, what she say? Hold on to your innocence. Use <laughs> your common sense. <laughs> You're worth waiting for. No, for sure. Hell yeah, because niggas be like, I'll be telling my son right now, like, hey man, you can just chill off, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just. Take care of your business with school. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Because you're only a kid this much, but yeah. you're an adult like this much, yeah. so you have it's time. Like, and I told him there's a lot of motherfuckers out here with herbs. STDs, VDs. <laughs> there's a lot of people with herpes out here, though. You got to be careful, dog. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a rapper out here. I don't want to put his name out there. I don't know if I should, but he put it out there that he, he, he got, got what? herpes. He contracted herpes from a, uh, from his girl, I guess. And then his wife don't have it because I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm Th confused about this it. This is his girl who gave it to him. And they from our city? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna put his name out there. He, he, well, you he, make sure you tell me yeah, after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. even playing. But he, 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 been <laughs> he been advertising for a long time. Who? That he got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, then I ain't. I don't know him. Yeah. Because if a nigga advertises he got shit, I'm not yeah, doing for, it. Yeah, he been, I guess he had herpes two years and shit. He, been, he the last man on earth. His nigga yeah. might as well fall off. <laughs> yeah. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Good herpes and shit. Yeah, no. People yeah, so start I my, fucking horses before they fuck yeah. him. <laughs> I <tell> my, <laughs> so I tell my son, be careful with these girls, dog. You got to make sure you strapped up, man. Shit, for real, for real. But yeah, sex, you said too early. Too early. All right. Figuring out life. Did you feel like you figured out life too early, too late, or right on time? Um, I feel like it was right on time. All right. Right on time. Moving out of your parents' house. Oh, uh, my. Uh, I would say right on time. Right I would say time. right on time. First relationship. Too early. All right. First job. Have you ever had a job? Like, <laughs> you a hustler. I say, no, I'm talking to you. I haven't had a job in a while, but uh, I did have a job. I worked 100 jobs, y'all. That's when I knew I wasn't cut out for it. For sure. That's when I knew I was a boss because yeah. I had I worked like a Jamaican. I had 1,000 yeah. jobs. I didn't do everything you would think of. Like, And I made good money, but it's like, yeah. it's just, it wasn't supporting my rap career. So for sure, for sure. Couldn't do it. Le leaving a messed up relationship, would you, what, too early, too late, or right on time? Shit, um, I would say too early. I left too early. I should have. I, I should did some other shit first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, starting music. Too early, too late, or right on time. Right on time. Okay. Now you dropping eleven, eleven. Yeah. You feel like this first project is too early, too late, or right on time. It's right on time. Okay, okay, okay. Finding out Santa Claus wasn't real. <laughs> Too late. Huh? They had us fucked up. Too late. <laughs> That's too late. Like, how you gonna tell me? So who really about to? So which one of y'all put the, the Christmas trees on me? Shit. Yeah. Why not Santa ain't real? Which one of y'all think? No, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I got a thing called what's what's worse. Oh man, you want what's worse? <laughs> you lucky you back there. Having having the shit out of a bowling ball or piss out of ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> what you feel like would be worse? <laughs> I think shit, I mean, pissing out of ping pong. No, the bowling ball is worse. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's worse. What the fuck? What's worse? Your kids catching you having sex or you catching your or you catching your parents having sex? I think it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Catching you, hell yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't see my parents. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell That's yeah. a good thing. That's a healthy thing. Yeah, no, for sure. Hell yeah. What's worse? Having to wear the same drawers for two days straight or the same socks? <laughs> the same drawers. Socks can be re <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Seriously. What's worse? Getting caught by your parents, you know what I'm saying, masturbating? Or are you catching your partner masturbating? Your parents, because <laughs> some girls, I love yeah. I like to watch. I, like I said, <laughs> my motherfucking uh, mom, boyfriend walked in on me. I was yanking. I was going crazy. Like, I don't, I, I think that's such a, that's such a sexy thing, though. It's kind of sexy. I don't know. Maybe I'm kinky, but that's sexy. It was worse. A relationship ending and somebody saying they're going to kill themselves or they're going to kill you? Honestly, I'm scared because they're talking about they go kill themselves. They probably gonna kill you first. <laughs> what you mean? Duh! It's just your turn first. Like you going first? <laughs> Do I ever hear the murder suicide? That's yeah. exactly what no. that is. What's worse, rappers wearing fake jewelry or fake designer clothes? Jury, the most tonight. Like no, it's the jury. It's the jury because we go swimming today, mm -hmm. and you get off that bitch and your neck is green. We're going to run from you like man. you got fucking bit by a shark or something. I don't know. All right. But it's kind of sad. What's worse, your man coming in a minute or he can't come? He can't get it up at all. Not getting it up. Cause you can come in a minute. It better be the best minute of our lives. Yeah, I'm gonna use like yeah, your yeah. shit is your shit is too the, good. It's you know, too you sometimes you gotta get a quickie. Like you have to. Like imagine yeah. like I, my nigga looks so good today. He just got his haircut. He look yeah. good. He got some G phasos. Everything's right. So it's like all right. Let yeah, me I'm gonna just... tell you, hey, you was too good today. <laughs> what's good? What, what's worse? Titties with no nipples, as you fish your bra, or nipples with no titties. <laughs> Which one's worse? I think it's the nipples with no titties. Cause I feel like niggas don't see the nipples when they see this part, so you can't really get off. <laughs> Angelina, Angelina Jolie don't have no nipples, so she she she's cool. What's worse, being a t <laughs> she's like flat chested with no nipples, no nothing. 
What was worse, being a tall nigga with short arms, or being a short nigga <laughs> like with, a T Rex, or being a short nigga with tall legs? A short nigga with so, tall legs. You can't be a short nigga with tall legs. This part, this part, little Holy legs. Holy shit! No, no, no. That's like Tasmania. Mm -mm. <laughs> No. Which one worse? I don't even know. That's horrible. You gave me that. I'll take the T Rex. All right, all right, all right. He, yeah, he, the short arms. What's worse, no car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib? I would say the nice car, no crib, because you can actually move around and hustle to get the crib. Like you have to have the money. I mean the car, because the money not about to drop off at your door. Yeah. Like unless you some streamer or you on motherfucking Twitch or you getting it in. Yeah. Like these need to teach me or my son. That for shit, sure. like for real. <laughs> yeah, no, but, I know. That's the, that's the new little wave right now. Like come They're on, I'll keep busy. Let me in your world. Yeah. Like I be watching y'all niggas. Let me get in. Let See, me. I want to stream, but I don't want to play no video games because I just I'm mean, time. <laughs> I, I want to stream, just talk shit. Really? They be on there just talking shit though. Yeah, yeah, but because I'm gonna get my ass kicked in video game. I'm just. I'm not good in the games On anymore. GTA you feel like You're gonna get caught I'm just not good in the game I'm, I ain't played Grand Theft Auto in years What like, about 2K I, I play it but I'm trash now Madden Trash What Cause the only thing I do Is work Coach I coach I'm a coach Fam I, I don't be Candy Crush Tell <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm decent at at, at, the, at the 2K, but man, that shit it ain't got a little bit too. You that got, is like a when you stressful. when you play video games now, you gotta you gotta spend time to yeah. practice. Like my son be beat my ass. <laughs> like you don't play no bills, yeah. of course like, you can win this. Exactly, I'll be out here <laughs> shit. All right, what's worse, down from getting stabbed or down from getting shot? Stab. I've been both. Like stab is definitely is the worst pain. Like shot, they're yeah. doing you a favor. You would want to be shot. <laughs> yeah, stab for sure. Now. We, we know you got money, so you ain't got to worry about this issue. But not having money on Christmas or not having money for your kid's birthday, which one's worse? The birthday. The birthday. The holidays, you really can skip that. You really take vacations. We don't mm -hmm. even, me and my baby, we don't, sometimes we don't do holidays. We just go on vacation. Like, right. So it's the birthday for sure. Like, or, I don't know, shit. It's whatever. If you don't got it, you explain that to your kids. Like, they got to understand being an adult is not easy out here. So once they get that age, they will understand. Right. They now, will overstand. This is a new one. Now, you you being a man, which one you think would be worse? <clears throat> Eating your girl out and tasting latex from another nigga condom? <laughs> oh, no, it's definitely tasting latex from another nigga condom. Fuck the smell. <laughs> Fuck the other Tonya. Do you hear this? Bro, stop playing with me. You ain't that pussy. You smell all fucking... No, like, bitch, you definitely just came out the rapper of America. No. I'm not about to play What made me you. think of that one? I don't know why. Yo, what? I think I was listening to a podcast. Yo, that's that. crazy, actually. I never... I feel like people could do that because they do have, like, some type of... Yeah. Like a residue. All right, this is the last one. What's worse? Find out your yo 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 dude cheated on you with your ex or your homegirl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your dude cheated on you with your ex or your best friend. Lord have mercy. Which um, one's worse? Okay, I'm about to get y'all something crazy. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you know where I'm going. So Damn, you know somebody has some fruit. <laughs> My ex, not saying no names, mm -hmm. but I found out he liked chicks with dicks, and I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know that was put together. I didn't even know that you say that together, right? Yeah, yeah, chicks that's... with dicks, and I was just like flabbergasted. So like, I was never your type. Like, no, no, never. I, I no, like that was just crazy. So like, that is the most betrayal, most hurtful, most like. I didn't ever be on the finale of Snap because I probably could have killed him or something. Like I, yeah. I tried. Like I tried. I chased him down in the alley with my truck. Like I tried to like really fold him. Like I was pissed off, y'all. I'm not even lying. I'm sorry, it's on the record, but yeah, wow. seriously. But no, that was back in the day. That's not me anymore. But if you find out that your significant other is a homosexual and you could possibly catch HIV or AIDS and they're not telling you, it's kind of like you kind of snap, you lose your yeah. mind. No. So like that is the worst, the Hell worst. Yeah. I feel bad. Like girl, stay away from. Niggas that did five or more, like seriously, <laughs> that's fucked up. Five or more, I give it that. Like sometimes it just depends on who you got. If you already was with your nigga, yes, but if no, yeah. like how long would you wait for your dude if he gets did some time? What's the max you can? What, what can you wait out without having to? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. my ex did like six years. Yeah. Uh, I and I was so goofy, y'all. Yeah. I really held him down like a yeah. loser. Yeah. But I held him down and everything like that. Uh, but the longest I can wait, I'm not gonna. I'm not waiting no long. If you're my husband, mm. I guess I have to wait mm. a lifetime because you're my husband. We yeah. already took that oath for better or for worse. But if you're not my husband, I would say you can't do no more than five years. Yeah. Or I'm gonna probably be like, damn, because five years. See, is if, a long if time. I'm doing five, I'm gonna tell you, hey, do your thing. Don't have me here. Stressful. I'm gonna wait five. I'm not gonna leave yeah. my like my man for five years. Yeah. Like that's that's kind of like I'm gonna do five. I will do five because 
I'ma still be grinding, doing my music, doing my thing. I'm busy. So like mm. five years could pass and I'd be doing just that and then I don't have to worry about fucking nobody. I don't have to worry about nobody getting you no know, tapes to mm. drop on me or mm. stuff like that because I do like the little tape thing. But like they ain't got nothing to put out there or whatever. So it's like you don't you don't got you don't gotta worry about that when your man sure. keeping you like on your swivel. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So and some people pay bills from in there don't, don't let that like that shit fool you. No, for sure. Hell yeah. But no, I uh I appreciate you coming through. We had nice little fun time. And shit. Yeah, dog boy. I had, shit. A bra- I had a blast. You, I had a blast. You definitely invited again. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? When, when I feel like I can have a conversation with motherfucker and we can just laugh and shit, yeah, yeah, you can come back and shit. Yeah, y'all gotta come to my uh my one night only my stand up, not in the strip club, y'all. Cause I don't dance no more. I make money moves. So. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm quite so. sure can both. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did used to dance though. Okay, but. then we can have yeah. That's a whole other conversation. But I'm gonna say that for the part two. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, what can they follow you on uh, social media? Instagram. What can they look forward to to from you in the in the next couple of months or whatnot? Well, you could be looking forward to me actually doing the reality show I was saying the uh, with Memphis mm-hmm. and like my music, my EP dropping eleven eleven the beginning. Don't forget, y'all have to stream that. And so? um, yeah, I think I'm about to just start going on tour actually. So we got some 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 things, and I'm uh, actually gonna do my own TV show. So I got some stuff. I got Hell some yeah. stuff on my sleeve. Yeah, yeah. And what's that? What's that? What's the socials they can follow you on? My Instagram is I am Raya with two H's. It's I. A M R I Y Y A H H. It's two H's. Okay. Um, it's a blue check, so you really can't not to be <laughs> on no funny shit. I'm just saying, so you don't miss me, you know. It's just me. Hell yeah, the, hell the yeah. The die, you know. For sure, for sure. Anything you want to leave people off with as far as like some some good words? Um, yes, day by day. Just take everything day by day, just mm-hmm. one day at a time. Like, do not. Like, just over-consume your whole problems and think about it in one day. Meditate. I swear to God. Just go outside and meditate. Even if it's at night to stargaze or anything. Just have a conversation with God or whoever you believe in. Allah, just... If you just give it literally 30 minutes a day, you will feel like a brand new person. So, um, and don't let your situation now make you feel like that's who you are permanently. No, facts. Anything no, can yeah. happen. That's why miracles are called miracles because that shit really does exist. No, oh, yeah, hell yeah. So, yeah, just don't crash out. Do not kill yourself. Please do not kill. For anybody who's suicidal, just do not kill yourself. For sure. Because it get like that. It really does. It's hard out here. And we're in a recession. It's election year. A lot of people can't pay their bills. Their rent is going up. It's a lot of shit Everything going on. So shit. just don't crash out. Just don't. Like, this too shall pass. Like, just don't do it. Because sure. it's bad out here a little bit. So yeah. on the real side, like. Hell yeah. Good words. Good words from yeah. Ryan. Let me shake your hand real quick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. Episode 209. Ryan. Right, you already know what it is, man. Best podcast in the city. If you think different, then Definitely. fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. All that good shit, man. Show love, man. Shout out to everybody on Square Podcast. We yes. here, man. Glorilla Peasy, get here. Hell yeah. Peace out. Peace out. Peace <laughs> out. Shit, man. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head up.